As well, your muscles help you move around and do things with your body. Okay, so the major structure of the organs of the system. So there's 700 main muscles that make the roughly half of a person's body. Body weight, so like half of you, apart from like your fat and like anything that has with the body, but the organ is muscle. Uh, each of like, these muscles is a, is a discrete organ constructed of skeletal muscle tissue blood vessels, tendons, and nerves. Muscle tissue is also found inside the heart, digestive organs, and blood vessels. We're going to now tell you the diseases muscles, uh, muscles have uh, in our lifetime. So the first disease is called cerebral palsy, palsy, or CP for short. And it affects the brain, which impedes the movement of the muscle. Of the body. Of the body, of the whole body of the muscle. So how does this is a disease level? So it happens out of nowhere, like it can be you can wake up sometimes like have a cerebral palsy. And also it sometimes has to do with genes. If your family had something like that, it can happen to you as well. And how does this disease affect people? So cerebral palsy it causes problems with the posture, a gait, the muscle tone, and the coordination of the body. And when it in, when it is not treated like fast. When, you don't, when it isn't been treated fast, uh, you can run the risk of losing the whole, like your control of the body and become a disabled person when like you can't move. Okay. The next disease is called muscle cramps. It affects the, a muscle that you use a lot, like every day, and you overuse it. Uh, this disease develops when, when you do sports or do a certain action that forces the muscle and that uh, at one time it could break. Um, it often happens because al always before doing some kind of sport you have to warm up and like stretch your muscles for them to be ready to, to have force on them. It affects people because it's, it starts to get harder and tighter and it like hurts a lot, a lot, a lot. The good thing is that it lasts is it lasts a short period of time, so like you could get over it, but it's very painful at the moment. It's not like a sexual disease, it's more like I don't know how to I'm say an it. It's, it's like, like an injury. injury. Yeah, like an injury. Oh, so the third disease is muscular dystrophy, and it affects also the whole muscular system. You know, like cerebral palsy. Uh, muscular dystrophy is caused by a change. Changing the genes responsible for the structure and functioning of a person's muscle. A uh, mutation causes changes in the muscle fibers and it interferes with the muscle mobility function. Okay. Uh, this affects people, like, it is a condition that like, gradually right causes the muscle to weaken and leading to an increased level of disability. You become really weak. Uh, with time, you will increase movement and since it is a, since it is a condition, it gets worse than the time. So
where there is liquid, gas, and lot are liquid. No. And from the angles, the the So the major structures um, of the digestive system are the ones that she just said. That first is the mouth. That is where you put your food. And you chew it. And then like the saliva and everything like helps like the food break apart so we can go through your pharynx, which is the second one. And where, it's also pharynx, the like your throat. You can also put the throat. Pharynx and throat are the same. Then uh, from the pharynx we go to the esophagus. That is where, mm, like, it goes the food from the throat to the stomach. And then in the stomach, like, there's like mo mm, mucus. Yeah. Mucus. Yeah. What? There, like mucus, where there's like an acid that breaks up part the food. And then it helps it goes to the small intestine. Mm -hmm. And then from the small thing, interesting, it goes to the large one. And then mm -hmm. from, from the large one, it goes then to the to the rectum, and then goes to the anus, where it's like your like your body expels all the weight, all the weight. Diverticulosis. Um, these are the like, small pouches in the walls of the large intestine. Um, these are like really small, uh, but then they can like grow. If it's not needed, it becomes a major problem. Um, there are no system, the symptoms. Uh, it is only when you do tests that you discover that you have them. Um, this is caused by high pressure inside the large intestine against the weak spots in the large intestine. And it depends on the diet. In that diet, if you have um, too low fiber, then uh, this worsens your digestion and causes this. This one is called Zinkosi, and it means orange yellow in Greek. It's a degenerative disease of the liver that develops from chronic alcoholics. Uh, it's a loss of liver cells and creates a scar in the liver. So symptoms can cause weakness, loss of apathy, easy bruising, yellowing of the of the skin, so your so your liver will end up this. this the irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, it uh, mainly affects the large intestine. This disease is caused, uh, like it's not uh, known the exact cause, but it says that it's a communication error between the brain and the large intestine. And this causes uh, abdominal pain. Uh, it, it, this can be uh, treated if you have to change your diet to be more healthy and with less carbohydrates. Um, and that, uh, this is not a, an extreme disease. Okay. So I will use the skeleton system. Skeleton. Okay. The diagram of the skeletal system is that it protects the body and it gives shape to the body. And we wouldn't have, like, we wouldn't be able to walk or stand or do anything if we didn't have skeletons inside of us because there would be nothing for this. We would just be muscles. And uh, if we didn't have skeletons, we would be like a general. The major structure of the organism includes a group of. <laughs> 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 It 
is made up of the bones of the skeleton, its muscles, cartilage, cartilage, tendons, tendons, ligaments, joints, joints. <laughs> and other <laughs> tissue, and uh, the, like this connective tissue helps uh, support the vines tissue and the organs together. And the musculoskeletal system's primary functions include, include supporting the body, allowing motion, and protecting vital organs. So like here, the, the, the here, this is like a okay. Associated diseases. Uh, osteoporosis, uh, it affects, it breaks most of common in the hip, wrist, and spine, also called vertebras. How do these diseases develop? Lower sex hormone levels tend to weaken bone, the reduction of estrogen levels in women, and menopause is one of the strongest risk factors for developing osteoporosis. Men experience a gradual reduction in testosterone level as they age. This disease affects people because like, it um, goes to the bones and it weakens them and it's, like, it increases the risk of breaking. Like, so the next one, is, the next disease is parasitic and it affects the, like it doesn't affect a specific organ but it affects the joints of the human body. Bursitis is the inflammation of a bursa, which is like a thing you have inside of your body. And it builds up fluid in it, so that most commonly happens in the knee. That like fluid comes out and it makes the knee swell. Yeah, swell. Like, the disease develops when you overuse a joint. It usually happens in sports. And you put it under pressure for a very long time. This creates like an injury inside of your body that like makes this like, sac feel with fluid in your knee. And it pressures and like it's dangerous for the things nearby because it puts so much pressure that it could affect something else. And it affects people because they're not like it causes a lot of pain and the swelling, also tenderness in the area. The pain from this disease uh, usually is very severe and hurts the brain. Arthritis. What are the disease effects? There are a lot of different types of arthritis that cause more damage to different parts of the human body. Some of the types of arthritis can also affect the heart, eyes, lungs, kidneys, and skin, as well as other joints. How do these diseases develop? There are many different types of these diseases, and this is why there is not an exact reason for these diseases to develop. It could be formed from infection, inflammation, wear or tear, metabolism, and as well as skin and organ condition. How does the disease affect people? Symptoms of arthritis can be mild, moderate, or severe. They stay about the same for years, but progress or progress or get worse over time. Severe activities can cause really bad pain, inability to do daily activities and make it difficult to walk or climb stairs. Activities can cause permanent joint changes that can sometimes be visible. So this is an example I don't know if you can see. Like the fingers are deformed. Like. Yes. Thank you. 
respiratory system. So the main organ in the nose is where the air comes in and comes out. And it goes all the way through your throat and then to the lungs. So just the nose. The nose, then the throat, and then the lungs. And they're divided, the nose is divided into two sections, which are external nose and internal nose. So, associated diseases. The first one is the common cold, pneumonia, sleep apnea, and asthma. So, the common cold, and it's a virus that starts in the upper respiratory tract, and sometimes like it goes deeper to the lower part and it has a side effects, ears and eyes infection. Like some of the most common sy symptoms are headache, sore throat, sneezing, inflammation of the nose, etc. I have a cold. Me too. <laughs> the disease is up to five to seven days. Can we know? What do we say? My name is Juan Martín, my name is Jonas, and this is the cardiovascular system. So the cardiovascular system, also called the circulatory system, moves blood throughout the human body. It is composed of the heart, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Okay, so the other structures, the cardiovascular system is composed by the heart, blood, blood vessels, arteries, and capillaries. The heart, it moves all the blood in your body through networks of blood vessels that branch out to and from all parts of your body. The blood uh, is made of is major made of plasma that is a lipid that makes up the half of your blood volume. It's also made by red red cells uh, which carries a CO2 or Congestive heart failure is a serious condition when your heart stops pumping blood to your body efficiently. Okay, so let's learn to push the nervous system. Okay. Uh, the nervous system helps the body control your actions but as well react to different situations such as when you're running, it helps you run. Or when you are hurt, it helps you know that you're hurt so you can produce the desired enzymes to replace the blood or things like that. Also, there are two parts in the, like two ways of that the brain reacts. The first one is the voluntary, and this is like when you jump, when you run, and the other is the involuntary, that is when you're hurt beats or when you breathe because you don't acknowledge what you're doing. It only happens and without your knowledge. Wait. Wait, just listen. He's like breathing. Showing the the people who talk about the body is blinking in the eyes. And Okay, but wait, by taking information from all the other sisters to where? To the brain? Yes. Is that all the all the systems are all the systems functions that have your nerves they have your nerves that goes directly to the brain to many nerves. And it does. And because of because of the millions of nerves, you can the stomach can, can function. They could pass the food to the intestine, or for example, the lungs uh, take inside air and take out carbon dioxide. So that's why many uh, the nervous system is really like it's really dependable on all the systems. So in the nervous system there are like two main systems inside this system. The first system is called the central nervous system that is made up of the brain and of the spinal cord. Uh, 
breathing, what else? The spinal cord. But also, many, many scientists also include the retina. Uh, this system controls the body actions. Um, and it and it cares like the actions that the the rules or what you want to do to the peripheral system that is made. It's like the leader in both systems. And the peripheral nervous system, it is it is part of the spinal cord and all the nerves, and all the nerves. Um, the, the spinal cord like, is the center of the nerves and it goes out of them. Um, finally, the nerves like transmit your body the action that you should do. Sometimes you have convulsions, uh, even if you take 